Here's Ishmael. Van Cleve beyond three. Now Holly. Look at the battle in there with Sawyer and Tice. Pass goes through Sawyer's hands, but it's picked up on the other side by Axton. He'll lob it inside for Ishmael. Shot from the left block is good. I was a basketball player. You might ask, what can a basketball player do in this world? What change can you affect? At Northwest University, I discovered that basketball wasn't simply about winning. It was about becoming. Becoming someone God had always seen to walk a path that he had planned. My name is Stephen Ishmael, and I'm an NU Eagle. The Two Feet Project was, was kind of an idea for a really long time. And then uh, when I came to Northwest, um, I kind of was allowed that opportunity to kind of figure out practically what that meant and where exactly. I know I wanted to do stuff over in Kenya and in Africa as a whole. And so Two Feet Project came about, you know, through multiple conversations with the guys from the basketball team and other opportunities and just seeing young men and young women over in Kenya who are vulnerable and who have been neglected and abandoned through this whole process, um, to be able to give them hope and give them identity and purpose through Jesus Christ uh, and to give them an opportunity to see that they're valued. If you look at our board members for our organization, they're all Northwest alumni um, and all played on the basketball team. And so my closest friends, even to this day, all came from the basketball team. And so without that support system from the very beginning, um, I wouldn't be anywhere where I am now. Steven and I were roommates in college, and so I would always get the opportunity to hear him talk about his trips. He'd come back after spending a summer in Kenya. And so when he'd come back and tell me the stories and the different things, uh, and then he'd always say, yeah, someday I'd like to start my own organization. And I was like, okay, okay, sure, that sounds good. And then, you know, a couple years later, out of college, you know, he called me up and we'd been talking about it, and he just said, we need to start it. We said. I think at a Sounders game uh, a couple of years ago, and we're like, what if the whole purpose of us playing at Northwest for all these years was not just for college basketball, not just for education, but was for Africa? I had huge support from a lot of a lot of the staff here at Northwest. Um, Dan Hickman comes to mind, uh, Coach Van Dyke, a lot of the basketball coaches. They were nothing but supportive from the very beginning to the throughout the whole process. Um, and that was, that was huge for me, to have that support. We're here for a bigger reason. And recognizing that, it changes, it changes how you play. When you have the opportunity to play for the glory of God, that changes everything in context of a sport. And so I think that was the great thing about being able to play here at Northwest. And it's carried us forward through what we're trying to do with our organization. I still feel like we're a team. Even though we don't put on a jersey, um, you know, and, and play a game, we're, we're still very much a team within that, that regard. We've seen countless stories of young men and women that, you know, you just hear their histories and what they've gone through. And to see them start to find hope and purpose and just see them completely change. You see them starting to live with a purpose and a passion and to take ownership of things um, and start to change their communities. Um, we have a lot of young men and women that have been in, you know, in the cycle of poverty and now are you know, working and, and you know, working and saving money to go to school and continue their education. What can a basketball player do in this world? I think back on my years at Northwest University and realize anything God has called him to.